Welcome back to my YouTube channel Travel Free. In today's video, I'm going to explain you about the digital signature scheme in the subject of network security. So this digital signature is very easy. You can easily relate to it uh, since particularly during this period of time, we all are doing digital signatures, right? So you can easily relate to it. But let us see, uh, but let, let us try to understand this some more uh, theoretically okay like how it actually internally how it works let us try to understand so in this video i'll explain you what digital signature is and also i'll explain you the working of digital signature how the workflow goes got it so let's get into the video first of all any algorithm or any concept which we are learning in this subject either belongs to symmetric key cryptography or asymmetric key cryptography right so here digital signature belongs to asymmetric key cryptography okay it belongs to asymmetric key cryptography because it uses to both private and public keys it will use got it and in case of encryption you will be using the private key and in case of decryption you will be using the public key got it at the encryption end, you will use the private key and at the decryption end, you will be using the public key so about this public and private uh, sorry about this encryption decryption how public uh, private everything i'll explain in diagram okay don't worry now this is used for both authentication and non-repetition that is like you know the CR triad right we have confidentiality we have integrity we have availability apart from them we also have some concepts like authentication non-repetition so what do you mean by authentication is you are sending the message to the correct person or not whether uh, you are if you want to send a message to your friend so whether the message is being sent to your friend or not your friend or to anybody else so it ensures authentication that it is it will be sending the message to the correct person itself the intended person to whom you want to send to that person only message will be sent okay this is what authentication and next what do you have you have non repudiation so what do you mean by non repudiation it is very simple you cannot deny the message if somebody is uh, telling you something if i've sent you a message like hi then you cannot deny my message you cannot say that i did not get the message so non repudiation that is uh, in some cases what do we do in order to skip the work or you know uh, in order to escape so we will be like i did not get the mail or i did not get the message we will be doing that right so here that will not work right and first of all before moving into what digital signature is you know what a signature is right why you have to sign each, each and every when you apply for your Aadhaar card when you apply for your passport when you apply for your uh, whatever it is pan card what, whatever it is they'll be asking you to sign when you sell a property when you buy a property bank account everywhere for all the transactions and all why because it is a identity got it if you are signing then they will be checking your signature against the signature they have in the database and if it is matching then they'll allow you to do a transaction right so it is a proof of identity whether it will check whether the message is from the correct sender or not in case of in the terms of network security if you are speaking it will check whether the message is coming from the correct user or not got it done so this is about the signature now let us understand how digital signature will work got it uh, so this is the diagram uh, which is showing you the working of digital signature algorithm very simple don't um, you know get confused first what happens is you will have a digital signature generation algorithm okay so first what happens is you will be taking the private key this is the encryption end right this is the encryption end and this is the decryption end at the encryption end which key we are using private key as i said you in the beginning of the video itself at the encryption end we will be using the private key and at the decryption end we will be using the public key right now here first what will happen is you will be giving the message and the private key as an input to the digital signature generation algorithm got it so based on the message and the private key which you have given a signature will be generated from the digital signature generation algorithm got it so once the signature is generated now this message and signature both are combined together see message and signature both are combined together and here and it is sent to the receiver both are combined together into a single message and that single message is sent to the receiver now what receiver will do as usual he'll be doing the decryption process right now how he will do the decryption process he will be using the public key of a 
got it private key of a who will have a itself will have because it is private private in the sense only i can have only i can access to that or only you can access to that you cannot share it it is not public you cannot even share it with your friend got it here public key of a why because you are using the private key of a got it so since you are using the private key of a you need to use the public key of a at the decryption end right now here what he, what happens is the receiver will be using the public key of a and the combined message and he will verify this with the uh, you know uh, with the help of digital signature verification algorithm got it and what will be the output of this algorithm it will say whether it is valid or not how it will say whether it is valid or not if the message is matching with the initial me message which is being sent from here then it is valid if the message is not matching it is not valid got it so here we have two algorithms digital signature generation algorithm digital signature verification algorithm in generation algorithm what are the inputs the plain message the plain text and the private key right now here for digital verification what uh, what is the input the com combination of message and signature plus pub public key this is not at all complicated just related to the encryption and decryption process in encryption decryption process what is happening we will be giving the cipher text cipher text uh, sorry plain text plain text is converted to cipher text again cipher text back to plain text right so the same happens here so here the plain text is m and as a result the cipher text assume cipher text as this combo right and the cipher text is checked it is an, a plain text is obtained so here normally in, in decryption what happen we will be directly getting the cipher text we will not check the cipher text with anything right but here we are checking the cipher text the plain text which we have obtained with the original message if it is matching then it is valid if it is not matching the signature is not valid that we have um, somebody the signature may be the strokes are so in some cases you know uh, i have my, uh, i have personal experience in bank when i signed they call me and ask whether it's your signature or not because the strokes were a bit different right in my 10th grade i was forced to uh, you know my teachers and everybody said that i have to write my full name as a signature and from then i'm continuing the same and in order to write my full name as a signature sometimes obviously strokes go different right so if i sign 100 times 100 times different sign only i'll do so that is so even if small strokes are different also even you know underlines or whatever it is so it it will not consider so by uh, if the message is matching you can say valid if the message is not matching you can say that the digital signature which is been done is not valid got it so this is about the digital signature i hope this video is clear for you if you yes, hit the like button and also share it with your friends and if you still having any doubts apart from what i've explained in this video just let me know in the comment section i'll be very happy to answer your questions and thanks for watching the video till the end let's meet up soon in the next coming video with another topic